I'm just being real to the fact that in Ghana we pretend too much. When there is fire, let's look for water and quench it. Let's not sweep it under the carpet. I'm sure that all of you have realized that the, the people who were, who, were pro, who were harmed or injured during the Ayawa Suez were gone, they are still in pain. We've not been able to truly reconcile, we've not been able to truly heal them. And this is just lying waiting for us. Vengeance can come. But what we are saying is that as a country, let's hold the bull by the horn. Says at it says. If it is wrong, it is wrong. Because where we have got it to, and I was saying, whether NDC or MPP, let's be honest with ourselves and say political vigilance is a no-go area for our democracy. Simple and short. But, but the government commissioned uh, the, the, the most short uh, committee to, you know, investigate the matter. They submitted their report and government has dealt with it. I mean, you're not satisfied, Claire. I want every Ghanaian to be a student of the ML Short Commission report. Read it word by word, page by page, and read government's recommendation. Read the government white paper. And that's why I was saying that the government white paper is not wide enough. The government white paper is not wide enough. Mark my words. And they know. It's not about grammar. This country, we love the country. You see, I speak like this because I have real experience in Bosnia. I saw what war is. I've seen what war is in Darfur. I've seen what war is in South Sudan. I've seen what it is in Liberia. So when I'm talking about my lo the love for my country, I, listen, listen, I am so passionate about it. The government white paper is not white enough. That is all I will say. And you think that there might be reprisal should NDC return to power? It is not about reprisal. It's about the fact that we need to do things right. And sometimes when people get out of control, it's very difficult to manage them. Let's do things right. And when there is discipline in this country, I don't think that anybody will just rise up and, and pick a gun or pick a knife and start chasing a brother because 10 years ago you hurt me and nothing has happened. And today I have, I have gotten the opportunity and I have to pay back. That is wrong.